Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a calibration of the thermometer on one of these uh, meters, uh, multimeters. Mo most of them come with a uh, temperature probe. Uh, the probe is fairly accurate. Usually it's a degree or so off or maybe a little less. Uh, but we can calibrate it uh, for our usage and we certainly should calibrate it when we first get it and probably every month or so after that to be sure it's not out of calibration. Now if it is out of calibration and you come up with a number that's crazy there's not much you can do uh, other than replace the probe. If that doesn't fix it then you got a problem in a meter and you can't have them calibrated but I'm not sure it's hardly worth it. But they should be checked anyway. And what I've got here is a glass of crushed ice and it's crushed ice with just enough water in it to kind of get it covered. I would prefer that over something like this. Now this is great for your cocktails but uh, occasionally this thing uh, reads a little higher temperature than I want. I'm looking for that 32 degrees and this is very commonly will read about uh, 34, 35. Sometimes pretty close but most of the time it's not right on. So this one we're going to use crushed ice, we're going to get this into the center. Now remember the end of this probe is the only thing that senses. None of the rest of this thing senses. Uh, be sure it's well covered and there is no, uh, is no contact with the uh, wall of the glass. Now you can see, looks like we've kind of settled down to about 32.9. So that shows that meter as being just under one degree off. So it's reading about one degree high. Uh, even if you had electronic um, thermometer I would go ahead and do this with that too because you want to make sure those work right. They tend to be a little more accurate than the multimeter type probes. However the multimeter probe is very good. Uh, it actually works uh, pretty good for what we do. Uh, these things get used quite a bit, so uh, you got to have something available. Uh, other types of thermometers, there's this one here. Now, uh, this thing, I'm not recommending much. I'm not even going to test it. It is adjustable. You can actually adjust it. Uh, boy, these things are pretty much old school anymore. Probably not going to use these much anymore. But there we have the calibration of the multimeter temperature pro. Check it every month. Uh, certainly check it when you first buy the meter or buy the probe. Make sure it's accurate. By the way, if you've got a Fluke 116, that is a Fluke 16. They don't make that anymore. If you've got a 116, there's a good uh, chance that your temperature probe will be 10 degrees or more out. Uh, Fluke has not fixed this for at least four or five years that I've been dealing with them and the meter's pretty good other than that but uh, uh, definitely if you have a Fluke 116 you better check that and uh, it's not the probe. If you change the probe it won't make any difference. So anyway that is the temperature probe and how to calibrate it on the multimeter.